Stoicism is a school of philosophy that teaches us how to better manage our emotions, desires, and reactions to external circumstances. Let's talk about six lessons that will help you master the art of not caring and letting go. The first lesson of Stoicism, which encourages us to distinguish between what is in our control and what is not in our control, is called the principle of dichotomy of control. This lesson plays a key role in Stoic philosophy and is the foundation for the development of other lessons. Let's take a closer look at this principle and its importance. Stoicism argues that much of our suffering and anxiety comes from a misunderstanding of what we have control over and what is beyond our control. The principle of the dichotomy of control will teach us to distinguish between these two categories and act accordingly. The principle of control includes our thoughts, emotions, decisions, values, and actions. This is something we have absolute control over. We can choose how to react to events and what actions to take. And the principle of no control covers external circumstances, the actions of other people, natural disasters, and other factors over which we have no direct control. These things are beyond our control. Why is it important? Understanding this dichotomy of control has a number of important implications. Reducing stress. When we realize that we cannot control certain events and the actions of other people, we stop wasting energy worrying about them. This reduces stress and anxiety. Smarter decisions. Knowing that we only have control over ourselves, we make smarter decisions by focusing on actions that can actually make a difference. Improved relationships. We become more tolerant of other people's actions, realizing that we cannot change their behavior. This can improve our relationships and reduce conflicts. Happier life. Understanding that our emotions and reactions depend on ourselves helps us develop inner harmony and joy, regardless of external circumstances. Let's look at an example. Imagine that you are late for work due to traffic. According to the dichotomy of control principle, you can control your response to this event, but you cannot control the traffic. You can choose to react, irritation and stress, or calm, and determine to solve problems as soon as you arrive at work. The choice of your actions and emotions is in your control. The principle of the dichotomy of control is important to mastering stoicism because it helps us better manage ourselves, reduce stress, and make smarter decisions. This lesson encourages us to focus on what is truly in our control and let go of what is beyond our control, which leads to a calmer, happier life. The second important lesson of Stoicism is the principle of accepting fate, which is sometimes called the principle of fatalism. This lesson teaches us to better understand and accept the inevitability of events and circumstances in life, even if they do not meet our expectations. Let's take a closer look at why this lesson is so important and how it can be applied to everyday life. The principle of accepting fate in Stoicism implies that we must realize that some events and circumstances are beyond our control, and therefore we cannot change them. Instead of resisting these events or living in constant struggle with them, Stoicism encourages us to accept them with dignity and calm. Why is it important? Reduce anxiety. Resisting and worrying about inevitable events only increases distress. By accepting fate, we free ourselves from this extra burden and reduce our stress levels. Greater efficiency. When we accept events as they come, we can better focus on finding ways to respond effectively to them. This allows us to make smarter decisions. Conservation of energy. Constantly fighting the inevitable can drain our energy and resources. Accepting fate allows us to conserve energy for more important tasks. Developing wisdom. Accepting destiny promotes the development of inner wisdom and the ability to see a broader perspective. It helps us better understand the nature of life and its inevitable variables. Imagine you lost your job due to a company restructuring and it was beyond your control. Applying the principle of accepting fate appropriately means that you will not fall into despair or blame yourself for it. Instead, you accept that these situations can happen in life 
and begin to look for new opportunities and solutions for your professional growth. The lesson of accepting fate in Stoicism helps us develop psychological resilience and the ability to cope with life's challenges. This does not mean inaction or indifference to our lives, but on the contrary, allows us to more effectively manage our reactions and actions in the face of change and uncertainty. Accepting destiny gives us the freedom to choose how we feel about what happens around us, and this contributes to a more peaceful and satisfying life. The third lesson of Stoicism is related to the development of inner wisdom and is called the lesson of inner control. This lesson teaches us to better understand ourselves, our emotions and reactions, and develop the ability to manage our thoughts and feelings. Let's take a closer look at what principles and techniques this lesson includes and why it is so important. The lesson of internal control in Stoicism lies in the following aspects. Self-understanding. To begin with, we must deeply understand ourselves, our strengths and weaknesses, our values and beliefs. This helps us better define what is important to us in life and what we can control. Managing Emotions Stoicism encourages us to be aware of our emotions and learn to manage them. We must learn not to let our emotions control us, but to choose how to react to events. Reflection The Stoics learn to reflect on their reactions and actions. This includes the ability to ask yourself questions about the reasons for your emotions and evaluate how they correspond to the real situation. Calm and Composure The inner control lesson helps us develop the ability to maintain calm and composure in stressful and emotionally charged situations. Why is it important? Smarter Decisions When we have internal control and the ability to reflect, we make smarter and more thoughtful decisions instead of reacting impulsively. Reducing Conflicts the ability to manage our emotions allows us to more easily move away from conflict situations and communicate with others more tolerantly. Greater Confidence When we control ourselves and our reactions, we become more confident in ourselves and our abilities. Developing inner control helps us live a happier life as we do not give in to excessive emotions and stress. Example Let's say you find yourself in a situation where you are criticized or insulted. The principle of internal control teaches you not to react with aggression or resentment, but instead to respond calmly and intelligently. You can ask yourself questions about the reasons for such criticism, assess whether it is justified, and choose how best to act in this situation. The third lesson of Stoicism about internal control is fundamental to the development of other aspects of Stoic philosophy. It helps us to better understand and control ourselves, which in turn allows us to more effectively cope with life's challenges and maintain inner peace. Developing inner wisdom and control becomes the basis for the art of not caring and letting go, which is important for a happier and more balanced life. The fourth lesson is called Reaction Control Lesson. This lesson will teach you to control your emotions and reactions to external circumstances, as well as develop the ability to remain calm and reasonable in various situations. Let's take a closer look at why this lesson is important and how it can be applied to your life. Lesson Summary The lesson of reaction control in Stoicism involves the following key aspects. Awareness Stoicism teaches us to be aware and attentive to how we react to events and what emotions they evoke in us. This is the first step to controlling your reactions. Choice of response. When we become aware of our emotions and reactions, we gain the ability to choose how to respond to events. This means that we do not react impulsively, but make conscious choices. Stoicism teaches us to avoid excessive emotions, both positive and negative. Instead of getting caught up in the emotional storm, we strive to remain calm and balanced. Reasonable Thinking The lesson of reaction control involves developing the ability to intelligently assess situations and respond to them in a way that achieves the best outcome. 
Why is it important? Reduce conflict. When we control our reactions and avoid emotional outbursts, we reduce the likelihood of conflict with others. This promotes more harmonious relationships. More effective communication. Calm and reasonable responses help us better express our thoughts and feelings when communicating with others. Reduce stress. Controlling our reactions allows us to cope more effectively with stress and anxiety-producing situations. More productive problem-solving. The ability to respond intelligently and analyze situations helps us make more productive decisions and find the best ways to solve problems. Let's say you received negative feedback from your superiors at work. Instead of reacting with resentment or irritation, a lesson in reaction control would teach you to first calmly acknowledge your emotions and then think about how to improve the situation. You may ask yourself questions. What exactly caused this indignation among the authorities? And what steps can I take to improve my performance and relationships at work? Conclusion of Lesson 4 The lesson of reaction control is a key aspect of Stoic philosophy and allows us to develop emotional intelligence and the ability to manage ourselves in difficult situations. This lesson teaches us to remain calm, respond intelligently to events, and improve the quality of our relationships, which leads to a happier and more successful life. The fifth lesson of Stoicism, which deals with the art of not caring and letting go, is called the Lesson of Gratitude, or the Lesson of Contentment. This lesson teaches us to appreciate and enjoy what we have, instead of constantly striving for new things and desires. It also helps us free ourselves from dependence on external circumstances for our happiness and satisfaction. Let's take a closer look at why this lesson is important, and how it can be applied in everyday life. The lesson of gratitude in Stoicism includes the following aspects. Appreciating the present moment. The Stoics teach us to appreciate the present moment and see value in what we already have in our lives. This involves recognizing that many of our wants and needs have already been met. Refusal of greed and apathy. The lesson of gratitude will teach us not to be greedy, and not to worry about what we do not have, and also not to fall into apathy and indifference to what we already have. Cultivating Contentment Stoicism teaches us to enjoy small joys and small victories without expecting to constantly achieve something greater. It helps us develop a sense of contentment and satisfaction. Why is this important? Reduced Stress and Anxiety When we appreciate what we already have, we feel less stress and anxiety about what we lack. This promotes mental stability. Increased happiness. Mastering the lesson of gratitude helps us feel happier and more fulfilled in our daily lives. Improved relationships. People who are able to appreciate small pleasures and express gratitude are often more attractive to others and have more harmonious relationships. Creativity and productivity. Feelings of contentment and gratitude can motivate us to be more creative and productive because we see value in what we do. Suppose you have a house, but it is not as spacious and luxurious as you would like. A lesson in gratitude will teach you to look at your home with gratitude, realizing that you have a roof over your head, a place where you can feel safe and comfortable. You stop comparing your home to more luxurious options, and begin to appreciate it as a place where you create your memories and feel at home. The lesson of gratitude in Stoicism reminds us that happiness does not always depend on having external goods and achieving greater goals. This lesson allows us to appreciate the present moment, develop contentment and joy in what we already have, and this contributes to a more satisfying and fulfilling life. The sixth lesson can be called the lesson of learning from mistakes, or the lesson of accepting imperfection. This lesson teaches us to accept mistakes and failures as part of life rather than catastrophes, and to use them as valuable lessons for growth and self-improvement. Let's take a closer look at why this lesson is so important and how it can be applied in everyday life. The lesson of learning from mistakes in Stoicism includes the following key aspects. Acceptance of imperfection. 
Stoicism teaches us to accept the fact that we are all human and make mistakes. None of us are perfect, and we need to recognize this. Learning Lessons Instead of becoming self-blame or despondent over mistakes, Stoicism teaches us to view them as lessons. We must learn from our mistakes and use them for our personal growth and development. Reaction Management The lesson of learning from failure also includes learning to manage your emotions and reactions to failure. We must avoid excessive emotions and remain calm. Process Focus Stoicism teaches us to focus on the process, not just the results. We must try to do better, but not always control the outcomes. Why is it important? Personal Growth Accepting mistakes and learning from them allows us to better understand ourselves and grow as individuals. Reducing Fear of Failure When we learn to look at mistakes as a chance to improve, we stop being afraid of failure and become more courageous in our actions. More Constructive Thinking Learning from mistakes helps us develop more constructive thinking and adapt to change. Example, let's say you find yourself in a difficult situation at work because of bad decisions you made. Instead of getting discouraged and blaming yourself for failure, the lesson of learning from mistakes will teach you to analyze what exactly went wrong and how you can avoid similar mistakes in the future. You can make it a goal to improve your skills and knowledge to avoid such situations. This stoic lesson about learning from mistakes helps us better understand the nature of human imperfection and use mistakes as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. As a result, we become more confident and wiser, leading to a more satisfying and successful life.